Hello, Cancer, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, Cancer, I may actually take some time off today. You know, um, I'm going through an ascension. I've got some ascension symptoms. I've been talking to God. Um, I feel like you may go through something similar to this this week um, or maybe coming up this weekend. It's really awesome, Cancer. Honestly, I had a conversation with God and Jesus last night. Um, they're going to answer a lot of your questions, okay? A lot of your questions, all your questions are about to be answered. Um, and it's going to be a, a, a really close conversation between you and the divine, okay? Um, you're also getting some new spirit guides coming in. And I feel like it's all to prepare us um, for what's coming next, okay? You're also going through some kind of purification process, Cancer. You're going to notice that you're either going to be like fasting, like you don't, you're not going to want to eat food, maybe. Um, I know I went through that for a couple of days. Um, it's, it's, there, it's a purification process. They're cleansing you. And I feel like... Um, you're going to be drinking lots of water. You're going to be eating maybe, if you do eat, you're going to be eating things like fruit and organic things, um, natural things, okay? So you're going through a purification process. You're having your questions answered. You're getting in some new spirit guides. You're getting closer with God, okay? The lines of communication are wide open right now. So maybe meditate. I, I just, I know you guys are going to have your questions answered by the divine, okay? You're going through a lot right now. <laughs> anyway, my darlings, just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I wanted to get that message out before I pulled the cards for you because I feel like these are things you need to know. And the ascension, ascension symptoms for me, they come through as like a cold, okay? But, um... You're, you're going to be experiencing some of that. There, it's going to be different for all of you, but if you feel like you need to go to the doctor, definitely go to the doctor. But, yeah, um, I feel like you're, you're definitely ascending here, Cancer. What else do we have here? I feel like, Cancer, too, your strength is giving somebody a tower moment, all right? Or you could be having some kind of tower moment, um, but I feel like it's someone else from your past. I'm also getting that with this tower, that could be what I'm talking about. A, like this is sudden, a sudden realization. This could be that information that comes in, the answers from the divine. Okay, um, if whoever wronged you, you're going to find out why. Spirit's going to show you. Um, spirit's going to answer a lot of your questions. I, last night I had questions just specifically for the divine. I wanted to know more about them and what happens on the 5D, you know, and I feel like, um, that could be something, anything that's on your mind, cancer, I feel like you're going to get immediate answers for. Spirit's going to show you, they're either going to talk to you, like you're going to hear God's voice. Or they're going to show you this in visions, okay? You're going to be walking with Jesus, all right? I feel like you already are. Yeah, look, they're giving you all the answers that you need. They're going to be giving you the answers to your questions. You know, I, I feel like a lot of you want to know what, the, really, the details of what exactly happened. When you were heartbroken, when you were betrayed, whatever question is burning on your mind, I feel like you're going to get the answers for that, okay? They may even show you things that have happened to you in past lives so that you can put all the puzzle pieces together because it all interconnects. I'm telling you, <laughs> I got so many answers last night, you guys. Everything inter inter interconnects, okay? There is a, a person here who's in a whole lot of regret for turning their back on you. I feel like you're going to be shown visions. You could actually be shown a vision of your person, like sitting on, on a couch or a chair just crying. You're going to be shown all of this, 
Okay, yeah, look, as I say that, <laughs> judgment and the sun, you are going to be shown this cancer. Okay, yeah, fool, in, or fool card in reverse. I feel like there's someone who, um, they were supposed to come towards you, cancer, and do the right thing, make things right. Okay, um, and they are not moving, they're not budging. I, I feel like they've missed their chance. It's coming in under judgment. This person is a big, yeah, they missed out on their Ten of Cups. And they missed out on their Ten of Cups and their Ten of Pentacles. You're in the Nine of Pentacles now, Cancer, um, living a wish-fulfilled life. Okay, you've put in the work. Um, you've transformed yourself and your whole life. You're working on something that's becoming very abundant, very stable, You've got nine pentacles here. The most you can have in the deck is ten. At the tenth pentacle, you've got a commitment. You've got um, you've got uh, something that's going to be built to last a lifetime. Okay, and here's the thing: you've got everything you need, and then some. The only thing you don't have is that one pentacle, and that one pentacle stands for a legitimate offer. This person from your past, they're in a lot of regret because they didn't give you that legitimate offer. They, they could have had the Ten of Pentacles with you if they were only serious, if they had given you a chance, if they wanted to stay at your side and be loyal, okay? But they didn't give you that pentacle. So, you know, they could have had ultimate wish fulfillment with you, but because they were in and out of your life, they missed out on all of this. They didn't give you a legitimate offer, okay? So, yeah, they missed out. They didn't want to confront this. They didn't want to confront the things that they've done. This person may have even at one point wanted you to chase after them, and that's not going to happen. You know, I feel like this person underestimated you because... Um, before this, you were at the Seven of Pentacles, highly underestimated, okay? Working really hard in some kind of possibly a financial struggle, um, planting some seeds that will grow in the future, right? But this person, maybe they thought that you weren't fancy enough. Maybe they thought you didn't have enough. I feel like they underestimated you. They walked away. They made an impulsive move that they feel like an absolute fool over, um, and then they sat on this forever, not wanting to come towards you and just give you a simple apology, not wanting to come towards you and tell you the truth. So now this person's in regret because they missed out and they could have had a life with you, like, um, the kind of life that everyone dreams of having. Okay. They missed out. And honestly, in Nine of Pentacles energy, Cancer, I feel like you just know your worth. You're a high-value individual. You know your value, and they didn't. It's kind of as simple as that. They didn't recognize your value. So they tossed you aside, sacrificed you, I feel, in a third party. Um, now they're regretting that. Now they're wanting to turn back the hands of time, Cancer. I'm hearing, if I could turn back time, right? They know they've got to do everything, um, everything that they can to get you back, right? But I feel like this person is just kind of sitting on this, like, I don't know how to confront cancer. Yeah, see, at this point, they realize if they were to come in now, you're going to think it's just for your money. All right, you see this person as a player right now. And you're going to be like, you're, you're showing up now because I'm abundant? Yep, you're this person, and that's how it's going to look. That's exactly how it's going to look. And they know that, okay? They've been in and out of your life before. You're going to see this person as an opportunist. You're, gonna, um, you're not going to trust what they have in this cup. You're going to see their, their apology as being fake, empty promises. This person really doesn't know how to approach you because now, now, Cancer, they've broken your trust so bad and you're in such a 
an abundant energy right now, you're definitely going to see this person as just wanting to use you because of what they did in the past. Yeah, they lost out on an earth angel. And here, Cancer, too, I'm uh, here, right here, I'm also feeling that um, you're held in high regard. And this, I'm feeling that upgrade. I'm feeling that ascension. So I feel like you are going to be experiencing some kind of ascension here. Ascension symptoms, like I said, in very close contact with the divine. Hearing them loud and clear. Okay. I just picked up on that energy here. <laughs> so, yeah, that kind of confirms it for me. But um, this person that you're dealing with, they could be a Virgo. They could be a Sagittarius. They could be an Aries. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, maybe. I've also got Leo out here. And I feel like, Cancer, you're just too strong for this person. You are not, in fact, going to chase them. See, I kind of feel like this person wanted to be chased by you. That's not going to happen. You're, you're really focused on what it is that you're building. Yeah. See, they should have never walked away. That's what this person regrets, is ever walking away from you in the first place. And now they can't stand the silence. You're standing your ground. You're, you've got your boundaries up. You're not chasing after this person. You're not speaking to this person. You're just like looking away from them. Okay? They're all up in their emotions right now, Cancer. Um, you could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. They're having a lot of sleepless nights. All they can think about is how they walked away from you. How it ended with you before. Whatever they did to you before, it made it way too hard for this person to come back in now. And I feel like they're under judgment. Um, this situation is coming to an end, Cancer. They can't sleep at night. They're having nightmares. They keep, um, Spirit keeps showing them the moment that they, they walked away from you. Spirit keeps reminding them of everything that they walked away from. All they want is their earth angel, and it's like um, they should have made some kind of, yeah, see, I feel like this person should have defended you when they had a chance, and that's what they're thinking about. Instead, they betrayed you. They stuck a sword in your back, but they should have stood up for you, Cancer, or they should have stood up for this connection. Yeah, and now you're moving on. See, this person chose someone else over you, Cancer. Okay? Um, they chose a Queen of Swords energy over you. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They could have chosen a, a maybe a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be, though. But they turned down an Empress. You're, you're the Empress. Um, they turned down an empress for a nasty queen of swords. Now, she feels very betrayed because she knows about you. She knows this masculine can't stop watching you. Look at him. Look at him. From over here, they're still watching the empress. And you're moving on. This is you closing out a cycle. If you have any kind of social media platform, any kind of public speaking platform, um... You could have a website, a blog, um, a YouTube channel, right? Um, anything that puts you in the public eye. Both of these people are watching you like crazy. Like they're, they're um, monitoring everything that you're doing, if they can, right? Whatever you're posting online, these people are seeing it. And this, the queen is, this queen of swords can't stop your person from watching you. She's getting more and more jealous by the day. She knows this masculine wants you. But at this point, Cancer, I'm really getting this energy off of you like, you're like, let her have them, you know? She can have them. I'm moving on. I'm moving on with all of this abundance, all of this happiness, whatever it is that you're growing. 
you're you're very balanced you're over this person i feel like you've healed you're having a major victory out here feeling confident balanced ready to move forward in all of this abundance and happiness cancer you could have recently moved or purchased a new home you could have recently gotten your hair colored i'm seeing from brown to maybe red or red streaks it's just a confirmation for you guys you could have recently gotten a tattoo maybe on your leg or your like your thigh I feel like that is to, if you got a tattoo, it's to mark the occasion. It's to, um, it's, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It was to kind of celebrate all that you've been through, okay? So it's, very, it's a very meaningful tattoo, which they usually are, but you know what I'm saying. Um yeah somebody's look i feel like the people are really jealous okay because you're having a victory out here in the public eye and this person they can't stop thinking about you moving on they know that they're missing out on an opportunity here they know they should have come in and apologize at least that's what they want to do but um they also realize that that look the door is shut you could be dealing with a Pisces. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But this person realizes all that they missed out on, Cancer. Here they are with this Queen of Swords energy, and all they want is you. They see you as their match. The King to the Queen of Pentacles. They see you as their match, Cancer, and you're moving on without this person. You're being led to. You're being led to move forward. Um, you're in your chariot here, an emperor, empress energy. You don't need anyone in the energy that you're in. Um, you're very independent, very grounded, very stable. Cancer, your money looks good. Your health looks good. Um, you look good. You've got your confidence up. You're making bold moves for yourself, and you're moving on very quickly. Spirit's telling you to just keep moving forward. Stay in your lane. Don't be concerned about the karma that these two are going to get. I feel like the door is shut on this last connection, and your person wants to come and apologize, but they should have done that a long time ago. Okay? And they even know that with how they've treated you, Cancer, this apology may mean nothing to you at this point. You see this person as a player. And I feel like he, this also is spirit giving you the answers that you need to move forward. I, I told you guys in the beginning of the reading, I just know you're going to be walking with God this week. You're going to be talking with God this week. God is good. You're going to hear God's voice. Um, they're going to talk to you. They're going to show you things and visions, answers to your questions that you need to have in order to release and move forward. Okay, I'm telling you guys, that's what's going to be happening. And I feel like, um, yes, this person from your past, they're in love with you. They see you as the one for them, Cancer. They want you so bad now. Um, they want to come in and apologize, but I feel like it's it may be too late for that. It may be too late for that. And spirits like, yeah, the door is shut on them, but we're going to show you all that you need to know. We're going to help you move forward. All right, what else can you show me? Emperor energy. Cancer, you've got a new emperor coming in. <laughs> You've got someone new coming in, Cancer, into your life. That's one of the reasons why Spirit wants you to keep moving forward is because an emperor, um, look, this new person coming in, I feel like it's going to, um, yeah, it's, it's going to make this all of the situation from your past a thing of the past. All right? It's, it, this past connection is going to be over. 
you're going to see that this person that you were dealing with is very immature. They just haven't grown. They haven't done their work. They haven't done put in any effort in breaking free from this Queen of Swords. They may even have gotten committed to this Queen of Swords, okay? But yeah, this, this person from your past, they still have a lot of work to do. So Spirit is moving you forward, giving you the answers that you need in order to release all of that baggage and pain so that you can um, move straight in um, to this Emperor energy, this Emperor, this new love that's coming in. You're headed straight for them. <laughs> all right, Cancer, you just don't see it. You just don't see it. Cancer, holy cow, you just don't know. This new person, this new emperor coming into your life, this is actually your true twin. Okay, you just don't see this coming. Okay, so Cancer, get ready to meet the real deal. You're going to be ready for it. Any questions that you have that are still kind of holding you in a little bit of stagnancy, all of those questions are about to be answered straight from the, the mouth of God, okay? Um, I, and honestly, you guys, I can't really describe it. It's You're going to know when it happens. You're going to be like, oh my gosh, Becca was right. I'm telling you. So get ready for a conversation with God. Get ready to walk with Jesus. They're going to show you everything you need to know in order for you to release and move on. And as soon as you do, you meet your new person. You meet this emperor. And all of this, and this person from your past, they'll be a thing of the past. Okay? Here is where your new beginning, your new cycle starts. All right? So get ready for this, Cancer. Anyway, you guys, I'm fixing to take this over to Patreon. Um, I just want to see... What happens next? You know, um, I feel like the door is closed on this past person. They're going to be getting their karma or they're going to be stuck in a karmic cycle. Uh, they've, they've restarted a new, a new toxic loop. And spirit doesn't want you to have any part of that. Okay. So we'll see what spirit wants us to see about that and um, whatever spirit wants us to know about this new person. So if you're interested in the extended, you guys, there's a link to follow in the description box below that'll take you straight to Patreon, and I'll be there in a little while, right? Um, and yeah, I hope this helps, Cancer. Now remember, with the sentient symptoms, it can feel like the flu, it can feel like a cold, but if you feel you need to go to the doctor, do not hesitate, okay? And, um, yeah, just get ready for this conversation with God. Oh, Cancer, you're going to love it, too. You really will. Um, anyway, my darlings, like and subscribe to the channel, right? Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, Cancer, know that I love you. Take care of you, and peace out.